Whoa! It's Megan, that chewing gum monkey's wife! My husband left me here to go play with Tessie along the shores of Lake Tess. Uh oh. Man, so many phone calls. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. No, I haven't. You know what? We're just gonna keep going. Skip his conversation. Yep. Huh? I didn't see any. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I took a shower. I just want to. I know. Come down. Let me see your hair. I put cream in my hair. Yeah, but these spiders would be like almost white. They're like almost white because they're like just hatched. So, and there's like millions of them that you took out. Committing genocide upstairs. Like, yeah! SpongeBob! Like the zombie, the zombie uh, damn it. What am I, can I name myself for doing? Like the exterminator? I don't know, spider leader? I don't know why my mom does it in her house. We need that non-stick fry pan. Did you hear me? Yeah. Do you think that's why they do that? Do you think they spot the books on the floor? So yeah. That's actually why you do that. We'll pull out two G's. <laughs> I hate spiders. Yeah. I'm in the same boat with you, man. Darina's too. Uh... I only have a couple things I fear in life, and that is heights and spiders. You can't you can't pay me any amount of money to go and look over a ledge. You can't pay me anything to get near a spider. And I hate to say it, but like at one point, even in my Marine Corps career, I was deathly afraid of spiders to the point that uh, it took like four people like three months while I was on active duty to uh, like work with me on my fear like we started like going to like a fucking bug museum and like just for spiders and shit like we just like chill and I'd look at them through the glass wow. but like it took me forever to get to the point where I was just like fuck spiders crush them ah! Oh yeah, Paula's gonna carry it. Yep. Thank you. Are you going to equip it here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Be right back. My wife is flipping out. Kill them all. See what I mean, guys? Even the wife hates spiders as much as I do. Yeah, but I have the guts to kill them and let them fall on my face. <laughs> Darina's too. <laughs> I'm okay with looking at them, but when they move, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Yeah. The wife has been fighting with them for like an hour now. Like, I... Like, the, we had a nest uh, somewhere in my daughter's room, and, like, you could see where they had, like, hatched. And they have just, like, come from everywhere. And uh, I, I thought I was seeing them last night, and I saw them this morning. I probably ate some, you know, extra protein and all. Yeah, Paul, his offense is over 106 now. Let's see about buying. 
No, nope. Not buying jack shit. Um, where's the other dude? Okay. Can't kill them. My girlfriend is the type that doesn't like to kill bugs. I have to take them outside. That's even worse. Oh my god, Darina's too. Oh my goodness. I feel for you, man. We we just say it's a pest, you know. If it's a pest, it's dead. Sorry, the bubblegum sold out. Jeff, you got that damn bubblegum, bro? No. Who's got it on him? All right. Pick up. Oh my God. No, not the dad phone call. Citizen Migraine, what's up, bro? How are you, man? How have things been? Also, yes, there was a huge update, uh, Citizen Migraine, to ARK. And we are waiting on Blood Crow or Borderland Games to actually facilitate the update. Uh, at least the update to the server. It was like 500 megabytes, almost. Escargo Express. Deliver. They'll have what? One, two, three, four. Wow, I got some serious stuff, guys. Oh, dude, Citizen Migraine. Holy crap, dude. That seriously sucks, man. I hope things, uh, I hope you get a new, another AC up and running so you can stream some more. Holy cow, man. Guys, if you don't know who Citizen Migraine is, give him a follow. You know, check him out. He's a pretty cool dude. And a very good friend. So, yeah, give Citizen Migraine a follow, guys. Go check him out when you have the time. Not a problem, Citizen Migraine. Just doing what I can. Let's see, we want a pack of bubble gum. Let's grab that busted shit, that copper bracelet. I believe I was trying to keep one of everything and that's just not possible. to the tower what oh to I think uh, what you call it um, dungeon man dude citizen migraine thank you for the host my friend oh my goodness guys definitely check out citizen migraine when you got the time holy cow man thank you so much the support is appreciated let's take out that diamond band all right Pack of gum, copper bracelet, and a diamond band. Yes. Oh, no. Why are they diamond enemies? The game is in hard mode now. <laughs> Here to deliver your pack of bubble gum, that copper bracelet, and the diamond band. Well, thank you again, Citizen Migraine Man. Thank you. Charges 18 bucks. You can pay for this, right? Yeah, I got 1400 bucks, dude. Here you go. Thank you. 
It just dips out. All right, let's open up our refreshment here. Yes, you know what time it is. Hence why this is a mature stream, my friends. Dude, he looks like the boss, guys. From, uh, uh, Foresight. You know, the guy who took, uh, Paula. <laughs> Beer 30. Heck yeah. Um, it's funny, I'm drinking, uh, Labatt Ice. They're not that bad, if you guys are, if, if any of you are beer drinkers, by the way. You know, gotta be 21 to drink and all. Let's do that. Let's spy on him. And let's bash him. Or better yet, mirror. Vulnerable to PSI fire. Okay. Oh, Jeff. Got blasted. We got poo turned into that thing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is the music too high, guys? Yeah! With only eight experience left. Yeah, like high enough to reach the counter in Europe. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Really don't know a lot of American be beers. Music's fine. Same okay. here. All right. So what is this? That's our uh, thing, stating that we need to renew our lease, but currently we're on a month to month until we renew. And our lease was up back in May. June. No, May. May mm. May thirty first it ended. Okay. So basically, we need to go over there tomorrow, let them know we want to do a one year lease again, and then that's perfect because then we can move in the summer. Perfect weather for it for the move because our lease will end July 31st and in August when the weather stops being ridiculously hot we can do the move and we moved in here in 48 hours like straight and I had no problem doing that I'll do that again myself if I have to so I know I'll have the money then next year because I'm gonna save as much as I can plus I'll have our truck Okay. At at worst, at worst, mm -hmm. one more year here, and I spend not one thing except for just the bills and school. That's it. Well, you don't have to worry about food and diapers. Cause I guess That's that. what I mean. We have food and diapers, and if we save, mm -hmm. if we end up saving and we find places and we can't find like a good place we want to move into, a three bedroom with an attic or a basement then we could stay here one more year to make our options better and just save like six grand or at least try to granted i i may want to go to like one convention if in the summer and stuff if that's fine what does that mean? like like what i'm doing with twitchcon like oh. go to a couple in the summer okay. yeah sorry about that guys just talking to the wife uh, no. No. Sure. Sweet. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. <laughs> the Wooly Shambler! Oh, no! Um. You getting more of those burritos? And chimichangas are awesome. Well, just grab two, and then just grab, like, the purple bag and the, the, yeah. I think it's like what five for twenty. Two bags of chimichangas, two of the blue, one orange, one red, one purple. There you go. Um, actually, I was curious if we could get uh, a bag of chicken breast. And it